So last month I made over $100,000 in the AI automation space and I've also built two seven-figure tech businesses. And in this video, I'm gonna break down how I'm going to launch a brand new no-code SaaS business in the next 30 days to 1K in recurring revenue. And I plan to document the entire process, both the business and the technical aspects of the entire project. When it comes to the coding, I know a lot of people are really interested in these platforms like Lovable and uh, Bolt.new, but for myself, coming from a place where I do know how to code, they're great if you don't know how to code at all, but if you know how to code, they're actually very restrictive because it's harder to use. So I'm going to be doing everything in Cursor. That has been a platform that helped me build out the no-code architects toolkit, and it has worked out really well. Now, when it comes to the front end, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick React. That's a JavaScript framework that works really well. It's quite popular and it's pretty easy to launch apps with that. Now, when it comes to the back end, long term, I'm going to use Python, but I'm not gonna start with Python because one of the things I'm going to do in the process of launching this is really try to move as quickly as I can. And I think I'm gonna be able to move a lot faster if I use a no-code tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and use N8N for the back end later down the line when I'm working on like a version two or a version three and I have the front end working well. I've got a couple of good features that are really working well for the, the users and they like it. Once everything has solidified a bit and I need things to scale and be a lot faster, then I'll transition into Python when I have that blueprint of everything that I actually need to build. Because the thing is, is that when you start to build out these apps, things change really quick. And once you start to write code, it takes a lot more time to make changes. Whereas no code allows you to do very complex things and change things very quickly, all very easily. The only downside is that it doesn't really scale that well. And the cost of no code is a lot more than when you actually have some code running on your servers. So now when it comes to the database, I'm just gonna go with something that I've been using recently. It works really well, it's very simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Postgres database running on Supabase. I found that it's just the easy service. I've been using it recently. So I'm just gonna go with whatever is easiest in this case. 